सो हाई एवरी वन डीप सीख हैज जस्ट नाउ रिलीज टू मॉडल डीप सीख आर वन एंड डीप सीख आर वन जीरो आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड हाउ यू कैन यूज अ मॉडल फॉर फ्री एंड इट्स की डिटेल्स नाउ आई एम कमिंग टू अ वेरी क्रूशियल प्रॉब्लम दैट इज टू एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू मॉडल डीप सीख आर वन एंड डीप सीख आर वन जीरो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द क्रूशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू मॉडल इज दैट deep seek r10 is trained only using reinforcement learning no supervised fine tuning is used here while in case of deep seek r1 first supervised fine tuning is used and then reinforcement learning is applied so r1 is basically sft plus rl while 0 r10 is just rl now talking about the strengths for 0 it is very creative and has self verification reflection long chain of thought while in case of deep seek r1 it is more refined better readability and lesser number of errors also the benchmarking numbers it is able to break out with openai o1 so it is able to match openai's o1 models on benchmarking as well but not r10 some problems prone to repetition messy output mixing languages with r10 and it is less user friendly it can be taken as more of a raw version of a model while talking about r1 not 0 it's more polished talking about innovation it shows that the deep seek r1 0 model reinforcement learning alone can teach reasoning no human guided sft is required while deep seek r1 the second the more refined model states that combining sft with rl gives you a more better performance Now, talking, understanding the difference between the two models using a layman example, assume deep seek R10. You are right, learning to ride a bike with no instructions. You experiment with the model. You try to run the bike. You look at the clutch, the pedal, etc. You will fall. You will take weird paths, etc. The initial riding style would be very erratic and unsafe, right? Once you in your initial days, you won't be able to ride the bike safely, and also you won't be able to ride it properly. Now, deep seek R1 is that kid who has now watched some tutorials on YouTube and then came to ride the bike. So he knows the basic stuff: braking, steering, how to pedal, etc. So now, compared to deep seek R10, where the guy has no experience, he he is seeing the bike for the first time. Once you have seen some tutorials, your initial rides would be more smoother. That is what they have said that it helps in avoiding the cold start problems of the model. If you will read the paper. so deep seek r1 has seen some examples before learning while deep seek r10 starts off from scratch with reinforcement learning why it matters i think they have mentioned this r10 is a breakthrough in ai research showing reinforcement learning alone can teach reasoning this is very very crucial r1 builds on this by adding structured lesson to fix r10's flaws making it practical for real world in short r10 is raw experimental with little bit of issues with quirks so it's very raw while r1 is more refined and more reliable thank you so much i hope you are able to understand the difference between the two